Uh, 45, 20. By the way, did you not get the memo on the suits? We all went dark today. You were, you're like Easter y- service. Y- y- y'all kind of leave me out. He's standing oh, up. Man. He as said you got as Easter suit as, as long as I get the text from my wife that says I look good. Oh, really? Oh, man, so so send me the text, babe. Send me the text. <laughs> it's not the one she sent me. I was just like, oh, oh, man. Wait a minute. Doors. Commercial live round. TV. 15 to 6. Live TV? Keep my man on the toes. <laughs> Welcome back to the Farm Rich Halftime Report. Uh, just you and I here, Tiki. I'm not sure what happened to uh, Peter Burns or oh. did you uh, did you have him keep your wife's name out of his mouth? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We'll, we'll see how Peter Burns is uh, with that smart mouth <laughs> in the second half. But. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, this happened over the weekend. Ben Watson, former NFL tight end and college football great, had an incident with his co-host Peter Burns. They're on the SEC network, which is a subsidiary of ESPN. It looks like there was an altercation that happened off camera. Things got heated when Burns made a flippant comment about Ben Watson's wife, Kirsten, the mother of his seven children. All of this happened while they were splicing in some B-roll from the Florida Vanderbilt game. So you don't see Watson's immediate reaction. Then they cut to commercial break. But things get interesting when they come back from commercial break because you don't see Watson or Burns on set. Then a few moments later, you see Watson coming back late and he looks visibly upset. Not upset in the sense that he was sad or crying, he looks pissed off, like he had to handle something. Because he also looks exasperated, a bit gassed. And so the two other co-hosts, they're trying to be jovial and play it off and ask them what happened, and Ben just says, huh? Now he heard the question, but he didn't want to answer it. It gives the impression that Ben had to check Peter Burns for disrespecting his wife. That things may have gotten physical on the break or some heavy words were exchanged off camera. And so later after the show, Burns posts a selfie of the two of them on Twitter, suggesting that everything between them was good. But here's the thing about that. We don't know when that selfie was taken. It could have taken place before the segment. And we don't know whose idea it was for them to take and post that photo. Because ESPN doesn't want to have the perception of their hosts fighting each other in between commercial breaks. So this may have been something coming down from management. In fact, ESPN denies that there's an issue between Watson and Burns. Whichever the case, we know that's not true. We know Ben Watson is not on board with whatever ESPN is pushing. Because just look at his expression in the picture. Does that look like a man who's at peace with what happened? His expression or lack thereof says it all. And look at the comment he left. Quote, you still owe my wife an apology. So things aren't as rosy as ESPN would like us to believe. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because people are drawing parallels between this incident and what happened between Will Smith and Chris Rock and Jada Pinkett Smith at the Oscars earlier this year. Now, I can't imagine how, but for those of you who don't know what happened, Chris Rock came out, made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith losing her hair due to alopecia. Will Smith runs up, slaps him in the face, then tells him to keep his wife's name out of his effing mouth. The whole incident is ridiculous, and people are trying to compare what Ben Watson did to that, and I completely disagree with that. Because Ben Watson is not some ignorant thug incapable of understanding a joke, and comparing what might have happened between Ben Watson and Peter Burns with what did happen between Will Smith and Chris Rock is complete nonsense. First of all, Ben Watson maintained his composure as a man. He didn't give in to his emotions like Will Smith because Watson, being the stand-up man that he is, remembered the fact that he shares the reflective image of all black men in this country. So for our sake, he didn't act a fool on camera. Kudos to Ben for showing self-control. But as a man, he remembers that he has a job to maintain. Ben is a father of seven, okay? And he wasn't going to allow this idiot to prevent him from providing for his family. So whatever happened, it was wisely handled off camera. And as for Mrs. Watson, his wife, she hasn't been the constant embarrassment that Jada Pinkett Smith has been. She hasn't cheated on her husband. She hasn't gone around telling people that she didn't want to marry him. She hasn't complained about the fact that he can't make her climax sexually. She doesn't go around heaping praise on an ex-boyfriend nor conditioned her kids to revere her ex-boyfriend. All of these are things that Jada Pinkett Smith has done to Will Smith publicly. But Kirsten, Mrs. Watson, has done none of those things. To the contrary, she's been a quiet woman. 
I've never even heard her speak. And like her husband, she is a devout Christian. And when I say a devout Christian, I don't mean just some random church person. You know, those people that imitate the faith by going to church every Sunday that look like Christians but really aren't. She and Ben really live out their faith. So she hasn't embarrassed or disrespected her husband, her family, or her faith in any way. And as far as I know, she's an honorable woman. She's fit, feminine, and submissive. I mean, look at this photo. This woman has had seven children come out of her, but yet look at how she maintains her figure. To me, she's the definition of a dutiful wife. She didn't deserve any of this. She didn't provoke any of this. She's not out there acting a fool like Jada Pinkett Smith. She's not a target like Jada Pinkett Smith. And circling back to Peter Burns, what he said was an insult. Because I've heard some people suggest that what he said wasn't that bad. Yes, it is. You don't joke about having a secret conversation with another man's wife. Now, some men are okay with that, but most men are not, and that's going to be an issue. So what he said was disrespectful towards Ben Watson's wife, but it was also disrespectful to Ben because, again, that is his wife. He is her protector. And when she's done nothing wrong, it is his duty to defend her. And people want to say, well, Ben brought her up. So what if he brought her up? It wasn't in a provocative or braggadocious manner. It was like banter. He was simply saying, as long as my wife finds me attractive, I don't care. Peter Burns escalated that entire situation. But getting back to the comparison between Ben Watson and Will Smith, both of them defended their wives. That's the only similarity between their situations. And so the difference between them is this. Ben Watson privately confronted Peter Burns for disrespecting his honorable wife, while Will Smith publicly confronted Chris Rock for making a joke about his repugnant one. So the difference is in the how and the whom, okay? Ben Watson did the right thing the right way for the right woman. Will Smith did the wrong thing for the wrong woman the wrong way. That's why you can't compare the two. And here's what I'd like to know going forward. You see, ESPN prides itself on being a network that respects women, even those that break company policy by sleeping with their bosses. Yes, I'm referring to the mistress of Ime Yudoka. Now, she's easy to find online. You can find her name and her picture. Yet ESPN acts like they don't have any of that information. They won't speak her name or show her image. They are steadfast in their defense of her. I mean, look at what happened to Jalen Rose when he dared to ask the question, why? He did. We know his name. Uh, maybe I'm missing something as it relates to the law, but why we don't know her name? Say it! Say it! Say it! I'm Jalen Rose, and I would like to apologize for a comment. So even though this woman is clearly in the wrong, ESPN is determined to defend her honor. So my question is, what are they going to do in response to what Peter Burns said about Ben Watson's wife? Will he be disciplined? Will he be forced to give a public apology? Will he be buck broken the way Jalen Rose was? Or will they move on as if it never happened? Will they show any consistency in this situation? What do you think? So if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section and share the link on your social media platforms. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you will get alerts every time I upload new content. This is The Lamage Journal. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out.